Hello YouTube. In this video I'm going to show you how to repair a jammed CD drive. Um, specifically what goes on with these things is you press the open button and you hear the drive try to open but the tray does not come out. Uh, this drive is a bit older, it's from 2004, but it will do just fine to uh, sh show everyone how to fix it because these drives really have the same leading cause as to why they break. Uh, so what you're going to need is you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver in most cases. Um, almost every drive I've seen uses Phillips head. And you're also going to need some replacement um, belts or rubber bands even might work. Um, I actually bought these off eBay. These are actually replacements meant for an Xbox 360 drive, but they work absolutely fine for most uh, computer CD drives and such. Um, and what goes on with these things is there's a little belt inside that a motor is, well, the motor is attached to a little um, circular thingy, and then there is the other gear that's supposed to open up the, the tray, but the belts will, um, if the drive isn't used enough, the belts will re uh, lose their ability to retain their, to retain their shape, so they, um, they stop working and they don't, they don't open properly. So, first thing you need to do is flip the drive upside down and take out four screws in the bottom. Now, the designs of drives do vary a little bit, so there's, um, it might be different depending on which drive you're using. Um, some of them have different screw layouts and stuff, but they're generally all the same. Uh, and some drives work with gears instead of a belt. They just have two gears going right against each other instead of a drive belt. And those usually don't jam up, but most drives are not made like that for some reason. Okay, after you take out the screws from the bottom, you have to flip up the back. And you have your interior components right there. Now the problem is, on the other side of this motor, it's a belt attached to the thing that the motor is attached to. So first thing what you do is you need a paper clip or something similar. I apologize for not mentioning this in the beginning of the video. And there's a little hole in the front. Um, you want to put it into that hole and push it until you feel some resistance. And uh, the drive tray will pop open enough so that you can pull it out the rest of the way. Okay. Now usually there are two tabs on the side. I want to push each one of those in. There's usually one on the top as well, but not on this drive. It pushes both in, and the cover will slide out a little bit. And then sometimes the little tabs will hold the uh, to hold this together, but most drives you can just lift the top casing off of the other drive components, like so. Um, and sometimes there are tabs on the side here that will hold that all in and you need to push down, but not this time. And right here is a problem. This little drive belt right there is has lost its ability to retain its shape, so it doesn't it's not tight enough, it doesn't really work well enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off. And as you can see, it's not quite circular anymore. It's a little bit um, it's a little bit deformed in shape because it doesn't retain shape properly. So we have these replacement belts here that I'm going to use. They are a bit smaller by comparison and a bit thinner, but they do work because they're tight enough and they don't break. Okay, they, they look a lot smaller, but they, they can stretch out quite a bit, so they will work. Um, this is the trickiest part of the video, um, part of the process by far. You have to slide, basically replace the belt. Just slide across this little thing right here. It's not very good lighting, I apologize. And across here. So, it's, it might be a little bit tricky because the drive tray actually covers up a little bit of the um, thing. You just slide the belt across, I don't know what to call it. But I'm going to do that now. It might take me a couple minutes, and it might be a little tricky to do. But I'm going to do it. And uh, you should try to make sure that the belt isn't twisted in any way to make sure it doesn't put tension on the belt the wrong way, but I got this one on in that amount of time. It took much less time than I expected. So um, the belt is now in there properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble it now. Just slide this thing back on the top. There we go, flip it upside down. Slide the front face cover back in to its little things so they snap in. So hold on, it's not going in right. There we go. There. 
and so the tray back in fully. Now with putting these on, there are little tabs in the front. You need to put those, you need to slide the front in first so it goes under the front cover and then slide it back down. That's usually how it works. So if you don't, if you don't do it that way, it gets a little annoying to try to get it in. Those things stopping me from sliding this down. There we go. Something's still giving me trouble. Come on. I know what it is, too. There we go. Now, this should be pretty self explanatory, but I'm going to do it anyway. Put the screws back in. And there you have it, a fully repaired jammed CD drive, so it's no longer jammed. Uh, in a moment, I'll show you um, how to test it out. It's actually pretty easy, obviously. If you uninstall this from your computer, you should know how to install it and test it and use it, obviously. But uh, I think in the description, I'll put a link to where you can buy these little drive bands for. You can buy them one at a time, or you can buy like 12 at a time for like four bucks, which is like a third of a dollar each. So. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up to a computer and fire it up and see if it works. So here I have it hooked up into an older computer. This computer is actually about 10 years old, but that's besides the point. Um, and I'm going to be showing you how it should work. So I'm gonna power on the computer. Okay, and it will make a sound originally when it starts up because it'll close the rest of the way if you didn't fully close it or whatever. And then we hit the open button, it should open. This one was in fact jammed before I made this video, I promise you that. And now it opens absolutely fine. And uh, to test it out, uh, this isn't really that useful of a piece of information, but, but uh, you don't need to plug in the IDE or SATA connector, all you need is the power to test it out. But that's not even really worth mentioning. So uh, there you have it. One fully repaired CD drive. So hopefully everyone understood the video and enjoyed it. Um, so if it helped you out, just let me know. If it didn't help you out, feel free to ask questions. So, uh, thanks for watching.